Hey, Gary here with you. In this video, I want to talk about margins and bleed or no bleed when you are creating books over an Amazon KDP. This question came from the Facebook group. My Facebook group, there is a link in the description to this Facebook group, Puzzle Wordless Database from PuzzleWordless.com. This group is actually going to be changing soon into a complete group about publishing for Publisher Report. But right now, here is the question that sparked this video. Hi, you Gary. Great video. And then there's the video. Let's create your book. That said, I have a few questions on the margins and bleed aspect, which I hope you can help me out with. Now, there's a lot to unpack in this question. And of course, this question here, you can read. It's talking about Canva. It's talking about the bleed in Canva, the margins in Canva. But really, what I think this relates to is when you're creating your book in Amazon, this is the best way to think about it because it doesn't really matter what your tool you're using to create the book. It only matters when you upload the manuscript or the interior of the book. So it continues on and says, or should they be kept in with the margins area going back to the original or the first question talking about should the lines and the prompts be over the margin or within the margin. Of course, this all depends on the design of your book. That's why I'm going to use these three books with bleed and different sides as sizes as well as no bleed to demonstrate this. Or should they all be kept within the margins or can the lines go all the way up to the bleed area? As I wanted to make sure the line prints or that the journal prints out like you would see in a normal composition book, for example. That's why I have this composition notebook because really I don't know exactly what's being asked here other than I want it to be an 8.5 by 11, but with bleed settings like I saw used inside of the tangent template section, if that makes sense. So again, thank you for the question inside of the group. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you these three books, the inside of these books, and then show you what this looks like in Canva. And then also show you what it looks like inside of the Amazon print previewer. So the first book is this hardcover book. It's also in paperback. It's a 6.9. The best way to show you this, I'm just going to attempt to show you the inside of the book. And then you can see that this image on the very front page goes all the way out to the edge of the paper. So that's bleed. It's literally, if I turn the page, you can see here the second page, it's literally bleeding off the page or the image runs all the way to the edge, depending on the definition that you use when you're talking about bleed and print bleed. The next book I wanna talk about is this book, the square book. You can see this book inside the book. There's no bleed in this book or I set this book up with no bleed. As you can see right here, the images are all within the margin. I didn't allow or I didn't need the images to bleed off the page. So therefore there's no bleed in this book. And again, I'm gonna show you this in Canva and in Amazon KDP. This book, a uh, wide rule composition notebook, interior of this book. Again, I'm gonna to attempt to show you this. These lines may or may not show up, but the idea here is it's lined paper and it runs from edge to edge all the way it bleeds off the page or it runs all the way up to the edge of the page and the lines go all the way across on the page if you can see that. Again, this is 8.5 by 11 with bleed. I'm gonna show you all of these. Starting with Canva, the counting shape with robots, you can see here if you go inside of Canva under file, you can set or you can show margins and you can show or set show print bleed and then I'll add these back. So you can see when I show margins, you can see the counting shape of the robots. If I scroll up, you can see the words and the robots are all within the margin. Now when it comes to bleed, this doesn't have bleed, but you can show print bleed and then it adds this little white margin here. So from the blue line to this little dotted line, and I'll go ahead and I'm going to make this a lot bigger so you can see this. And now you can see that blue line and then my cursor is blue is between that blue line and the dotted line. That is the bleed area. That is the area where they going to cut it off or when you print this, it's going to be cut off. So your image, if you want your image to show, it has to be below this dotted line because that's where this space right here is actually going to be cut off. And you can see that inside of Canva, their help article, bleed, avoid white gaps when printing to the edge of the paper or card. In this case, what they're calling bleed and their demonstration of bleed is to make sure that you stretch the image all the way to the edge to make sure that you don't get this white line when you print it. But the true definition of printing in bleed is printing that goes beyond the edge of where the sheet will be trimmed. In other words, the bleed is the area to be trimmed off. That's the key. It's going to be trimmed. So if you want to be able to see it, then don't extend it to the bleed area. 
Here's another good example from algaraprinting.co. You can see in this image, it talks about bleed and then the trimming zone. You can see the trimming zone is the area where the bleed is, which is the pink or red area. Then you can see the trimming zone, which is the white dot line where the scissors are. Then you can see the safe zone. Keep critical elements and text on the white as trimming might affect the blue area. So in this case, they're showing the bleed, which goes all the way to the edge. Then they have what is called a trimming zone. So again, it depends on who is doing the printing for you and what their definition of it is. But the simple idea of the bleed goes all the way to the edge of the page. Then you have the trimming line and then you have the safe zone. Again, these are all margins and bleed areas. And it's talking about cutting and when they actually do the print process. And of course, if you go to kdp.amazon.com and look this up, you'll see that bleed is a printing term that refers to when printing items on a page, such as images or illustrations, reach all the way to the edge of the page. All book covers on KDP require bleed. Bleed is only supported for fixed formats like print ready PDFs. Then it shows bleed and no bleed for the interiors and you can see the file setup. Here on the left hand side is what it's gonna look like and they're showing you where it's going to be cut and what it's gonna look like when it prints on the right side. They use the image as the illustration. You can see with no bleed, on the left here, then you can see the bleed and the image goes all the way to the edge. So when it's printed, the image is gonna be printed all the way to the edge. Now, when a book is printed, as you can see in this table, all pages are trimmed to the selected trim size by cutting 0.125 inches or 3.2 millimeters from the top, bottom and outside edges. In order for the objects on your page to reach all the way to the edge of the page, those objects must extend past where the page will be trimmed. This means you need to increase your page size beyond where it will be trimmed. Now to add into this, margins, when you're talking about margins, because the original question in the Facebook group talked about margins and bleed, margins protect your content from running off the page and being cut off during the manufacturing product process. The top, bottom, and outside margins must be within 0.25 inches for books without bleed and 3.75 inches for books with bleed. The inside margin depends on the page count because the higher number of pages, the thicker the book will become, which means the inside margin must also increase to allow space for the spine. Of course, if we bring that back to real books, talking about bleed and margins again, if you open this notebook, this is just a notebook. So there's no worry about margins in this book. And there's really truly no worry about bleed. Everything is running to the edge. So when you open this book, the margin and the bleed and everything is gonna be the same here because it's running off the page. You want the lines all the way into the interior of the book. It doesn't matter if it gets cut off or not because there's this hard line here that defines where to start writing. And then maybe this is just used for notes or what have you. But the idea here is, the concept is nobody writes in this space right here, all the way to the edge. That's why this line is here. So even if you needed to take a pair of scissors or tear this out, you would write everything on this side of the page. Then when we're talking about the square book, which is just a picture book, it's the same concept, same idea with bleed and margin, because you want the interior of the book. If this is a super thick book, as you can see, this is really, really thin. So things don't change much when you're talking about the margins. And of course, we're not worried about bleed, but you can see that the thicker the book, the more interior margin is going to have to be expanded out so you don't lose the writing or the text or the images inside of the spine. Go to the hardcover book and you see that same concept when you open this book and you actually get to the interior of the book. And I'm gonna show you this in Canva because you can see here that when you open this book, the thicker this gets, right? You can see the size, the thickness of this book. This is only 103 pages, but when you open it up, you're looking at the interior of the book because when it lays flat and you start to write, you want this inside margin here to allow for that space, the thicker your book gets, because this binding is going to get thicker and you're gonna need more space on your page or more space, more leeway in your margin and push all this stuff over into the middle of the page as the book is closed and opened to give people room to read and or write and to make sure things and lines and words and spaces don't get cut off. And here's that enjoy your stay book. You can see here if you're inside of Canva and you were to go ahead and set the margins, you can see the margin line there. If you were to show print bleed on this, again, these are different definitions. This wasn't actually designed in Canva, but you can see now that white space and that blue line is gonna be there. 
Again, I'll zoom this in. So again, you can see my cursor, you see the blue line on the very edge and the white line, the bleed. And then of course, this is the margin and all the words have to be inside of the margin because that is what you're worried about when you're talking about creating your book. Then if you scroll down here to the actual interior of the page, this wasn't designed in Canva, but you can see here, it doesn't really matter as far as the margin is concerned inside of Canva. We're really worried about what it looks like in the print previewer and the margins that are set by Amazon KDP, which I showed you in that help article. Here is the print previewer for Enjoy Your Stay, the six by nine hardcover book. You can see here, the bleed goes all the way to the edge. This is the image. Amazon doesn't complain about it. If you were to keep going, you can see the welcome page. You can see here that it's, it shows and it says that it's gonna cut the little flip-flop and the suntan lotion off inside of the margin, but the bleed goes all the way to the edge of the page. And then here is the interior of the book. Again, the background image, extends all the way to the edge, but you can see it's outside of the margin, but the words, the stars, the lines, all with inside of the margins. If you don't want the words to be cut off, and again, the interior margin is going to be different from the exterior margin, depending upon the thickness of your book, and that's why you use the charts that they give you. Here's the counting with robots print previewer. Again, there's no bleed here because it's a white background. Everything is within the margins to include the shapes, the robots, the words, everything. There's no worry, no bleed set on this book. These are the settings for the 8.5 by 11, the composition book. You can see 8.5 by 11, bleed only. And you can see from the manuscript name, it is literally 8.5 by 11 wide ruled line paper, 120 pages with bleed. I downloaded that interior from Tangent Templates and strictly just uploaded it with bleed and it runs all the way to the edge of the page as you saw in the real book. This is the Enjoy Your Stay book. And as you can see, I uploaded this manuscript that uses bleed with no bleed in the print previewer. And you can see the error here. If your book has errors, it won't meet our quality standards. To publish your book, you will need to fix the errors. You chose six by nine trim size, but your interior file was submitted at 6.13 by 925. Again, because I'm working with bleed, all of those dimensions are given to you when you calculate it inside of Amazon KDP, inside of the help files. And then you can see that they complain about this because it is outside of the area. So it has to be fixed. In this case, it'd be a simple fix by going back into the KDP bookshelf inside the setup and just selecting bleed. Here you can see it's still complaining about the image on the welcome page. And then here you can see it's complaining again about the size because the setting is wrong. It's the wrong manuscript size and I selected no bleed or without bleed when it actually does have bleed because I want that back image to be printed all the way across the paper. Again, that's this hardcover book. And if you were to open it up, it's complaining for the simple fact that this image runs all the way to the edge of the page. But I told it when I set it up, I said without bleed. So then again, as you saw those exclamation points, the little, red, the little red triangles with the exclamation points are on the side. It's complaining about the background image because everything else is within the margins, but it's complaining about the bleed. Amazon is going to tell you inside of the print previewer what is wrong, what they expect, and then you have to correct it and make it that size. The rest of it is up to you as far as if you want the lines to run off the page or if you want the lines to be within the margins. You just have to be aware of the book that you're designing and what you want it to look like after it's printed. And when Amazon prints it, it makes it a real book. And the only way to do that, in my opinion, is with a little bit of trial and error, like I've showed you here, and with understanding what bleed means. Bleed simply means it's going to the edge of the page and then they're going to cut it off. It is the full width of the page, the full size of the page. So the images, the lines, the words, whatever run to the edge, but you have to understand that bleed is there to protect you as well, as well as the margins, which is the interior of the book. But you can run your lines, your words, whatever you want, all the way up to the edge, as long as you let Amazon know it's bleed or no bleed, and you set your dimensions right for the cover, but in this case, for the interior of the book. And that's why I showed you this example, because I think this is more what you're trying to create with bleed, as well as within everything within the margins inside of the book. So again, thanks for the question inside of the Facebook group. Again, this Facebook group is currently for the Puzzle Wordlist database from puzzlewordlist.com. That's a database of words sold by a monthly subscription. Again, this is going to change because what I want to do is I want to cover topics like what I covered here with all these different styles of books. 
to include puzzle books because really at the end of the day, the book and creating the book and the interior of the book is what people want when you're creating a real book. And I like, I enjoy the aspect of creating puzzle books and also books like these, these more medium or low content or even high content books, such as this kid's book for counting shapes, guest books, printing books or making books, printing books like these notebooks and just seeing what sells because we're trying to create real books for real people. And that's what the Facebook group is going to become about. And that's what the Facebook group is already about. It just started with puzzlewordlist.com and the puzzle word list database because that was where I was at when I created the group. And now I've expanded into complete full on self-publishing here on Publisher Report, here on the channel, as well as starting a website and a blog, creating content for everything around self-publishing. So I'm gonna turn that group into what I want it to be, what the big vision is, is everyone that is a self-publisher, whether you're publishing books on Amazon KDP or any other platform, or you're doing print on demand with another service, or you're even doing spiral books, if you have a print service that does that, all the way down to printables as well because printables, in my opinion, is another great way to get started inside of self-publishing just by creating content. In this case, not books, but content that people can print off on their printer at home or take that file and maybe take it to a professional printer, whatever they wanna do with it. But the idea is you're creating the content, you're creating what people want, and you're self-publishing that, you're putting it out to the world, people are buying it, and people are actually getting value from it. And that's what we're doing here, creating real books for real people, just creating content, real content for real people, so they can use it, enjoy it, and come back and buy some more. If this video was helpful, give me a thumbs up. Typewriter right here, click it, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for your time, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.